Hi there, Peter from Vox Singing Academy here. I have been the director and principal teacher at Vox Singing Academy since 1993. If we could help you or someone that you know with their singing, please check out the links below. We'd be absolutely honored. If you're not up to face-to-face -to -face singing lessons, please check out the Ultimate Online Singing course. We have male and female teachers here working at Vox Singing Academy Melbourne. We also give online singing lessons worldwide seven days a week. I'm doing a new video. I'm gonna be releasing, I'm gonna do a new segment. Don't know what I'm gonna call it yet. I'm just gonna basically release one video a week, very short videos um, on singing tips, hints, tricks, but mainly answering questions. So guys, get typing. If you have any questions, anything regarding singing, there is nothing that I cannot answer or do not know about singing. I've been uh, a professional singing teacher, as I said, since 1993, and that's probably longer than what a lot of you guys have been born. Did that come out right? Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna do any editing. It's gonna be off flying off the cuff here. Um, and it's really, this, these videos, these, I'm gonna do one this whole year. Um, I've just come back from holidays, well-deserved holiday break. Um, so I'm a little bit behind already, but I'm gonna to endeavor to do one video per week and answer a question from uh, the most asked questions within lessons and from my YouTube channel. But predominantly from my lessons, so we're gonna sort of go deep. Um, one of, I'm gonna start here, one of the most, uh, the, commonly asked questions is or should should I warm up my voice and the answer is yes you should the next question that is asked by to me a lot is how long should I warm up for and how long before I perform and sing should I warm my voice up for beforehand, meaning when you're at the sing, when should you warm up? I get, I ask all of my students when they come into their classes, all of my students have to be warmed up, ready to go. It's just bang, it's straight in. I basically just ask my students how they're going, how their week was, how their practice was, how their voice is feeling, and it's straight into, into lessons. There's no warming up in my classes because we need to get stuck straight into it and make the most of our time. So all of my students are warmed up, but sometimes when they first start lessons, I will ask my students, are you warmed up? And they'll say, yes. And I'll say, when did you warm up? And they say, at 12 o'clock, and it's now four o'clock. And that is not good, no good, no good. <laughs> so let's just answer the question. Number one, yes, you should always warm your voice up before you do any singing for a length of time. Just because it's the same as jogging, basically, or running. You can go and run and go for a jog, and you'll be fine. And you might be fine for one or two or three years, but one day you're gonna go jogging, and you're gonna pull a hamstring, or you're gonna, you're gonna strain a muscle, and it's gonna take you out of jogging for maybe one, two, three, four weeks, whatever it might be. The same thing is with your voice. Your voice is a muscle and you need to make sure you take care of it and warm it up before you sing. If you're taking your singing relatively seriously, the other reason why, why you want to warm your voice up is your voice is going to react and sound better. I want you to do a little experiment here. I want you to just wake up in the morning and start to sing. Straight away, you're a, a, quite a difficult song and wake up and go and try to sing. And then go and try to sing that same song later in the evening after dinner. You're going to sound better in the evening, 110%. Reason being is that your voice has warmed up a little bit during the day from you talking. So there's just a, an example of your voice warming up just a little. So you're going to sound better. Your voice is going to react better. But the main point is we want you to sing, particularly at Vox Singing Academy, we want you to sing for the rest of your life. So occupational health and safety and taking care of your voice is vitally important. So all of our students have to be warmed up by the time they get into class. They have to be warmed up before they sing. And we record and customize scales uh, warm-ups uh, for all of our students. So we just don't give you some generic thing that we've recorded. We work out what your vocal range is, 
what your genre is, and then we warm up your voice accordingly. Because your vocal warm up will be different if you're in cold play, using a lot of falsetto and not singing that high in your true voice to what it may be if you're in slipknot and singing clean, hard, dirty, and screaming. So the warm-up regimen would be different for the genre of music that you're doing, your age. Also, how serious you are about your voice. If you're a hobby singer, we won't get you to do much in the way of warm-ups. We want you to just go in straight away and have a sing and, and have some fun. So it'll only be a very short warm-up. And same with children. Um, if you're young, we won't be getting you to do much, but we'll be getting you to warm your voice up. It's very important that children warm their voice up because uh, particularly uh, up until the age of about 18 or 19 because your voice and your body is still growing and developing and we particularly don't want you to develop, to de develop uh, any uh, vocal disorders or damage your voice between the, in this stage when your voice is still growing and developing. It's super important. Um, so yeah, there, there are the reasons. Hopefully I've convinced you to warm your voice up. I know a lot of even people that do voiceovers and do radio, they also warm their voice up as well too um, because you know their voice is, is making them money. Um, so, yeah, and a lot of people that, that do a lot of speaking warm their voice up. Uh, uh, fitness instructors, uh, coaches, judges, auctioneers, um, these are all people that, that have come in that have damaged their voice, that have come into lessons for me to try to get their, their, their voice better and help their voice set. So I've not just dealt with singers, I've also dealt with a lot of um, professionals as well too. So, And I've also dealt with a lot of people that work in hospitality, um, bartenders that have lost their voice screaming over loud music the whole, the whole night. So they're actually probably the people that I've, I've worked with the most that aren't singers. So, yes, warming up your voice is, is very, very important. Um, and when you should warm up before you sing? Let me answer that next question. Actually, no, this video is long enough. I'm gonna answer that one in the next video. We've gone for seven minutes now. Um, I'll cut this one short and um, I'll load this one up and that just answers that question. I'll shoot another one next week and that will be for when should you warm up before you sing? Okay, so watch out for that one. The video after that one, I will show you how to warm up. I'll give you some basic techniques on how to warm up. If you're a from an absolute beginner to a pro, I'll give you the same scale. Or even if you're just doing voiceover, or you're a you know you're working in hospitality, or you're an auctioneer, or you're a you're a coach, or a a, a PT, and you have to speak at a loud volume, I'll show you what to do. That will be in the third video. I'm gonna sign out for now to the next video. Most importantly, be good to each other. Enjoy your singing. Um, and if we could help you or someone that you know, please check out the links below with their singing. I messed that up. If we can help you or someone that you know with their singing, check out the links below for more info. I'm a lyrical gangster. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this channel, give it a thumbs up, click like and subscribe. Till next time. Massive love. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Be good to each other. And until the next video, bye-bye. No editing.